lot of basic lures that we'll catch fish on this on this lake. Jigs and plastic worms are tremendous lures here year round. Uh, but I always suggest, you know, like in the warm weather months, if you're coming here and you just want to have some fun, if you got a couple of kids you want to get some bites, buy night crawlers and crickets. I mean, the spotted bass will always bite those night crawlers and uh, catch big bluegill on crickets and night crawlers, catfish. Small mouth. That's what I'm talking about. That's a big shad coming out of his throat right there. I just caught that fish on a, on a jig, so he thought that was a crawfish. But uh, he just ate a shad probably just seconds before he ate uh, my jig, so that fish is definitely up there feeding. You can see the belly on him. He's just loaded. These fish are healthy. This lake's got a lot of crayfish and a lot of shad in them. That's just a really nice smallmouth right there. The two things that, like I said, these fish feed on is shad and crayfish, and just try to keep it natural. Get the baits that imitate a crayfish. When you're fishing deep, the jig is the best. They hit this jig right here because it's so big and it makes so much noise going through those rocks and it kicks up a lot of silt and it looks like a big crayfish. This lake's got some four and five inch crayfish in it. And that's what you're imitating right here. And what it does is actually aggravates those fish. They'll even bite it when they're not hungry. Oh, there he is. That's what I always tell people when they ask me about rods and reels. You don't necessarily have to go out and buy the most expensive stuff, but get something that feels good to you and your hands. Just get some good quality line. You know, line's an important thing. It's the most important element between you and the fish. Get good line. And then, uh, you know, start off with a few basic lures. And, uh, you know, if you're going to come to Table Rock, for instance, uh, try to research a little bit. Get on the internet, look up some of the websites that have some, some information about what the fishery is at that particular time of the year, whenever you're coming. So you'll know what to, what to go out and pick up, you know, or whether it might be a live bait situation. And if you're going to hire a guide or if you go to the bait shops, you can get that information from them. So you don't need to spend a lot of excess money just to come down for a nice fishing trip on the lake. Just uh, get, some, get a rod and reel that feels good to you with a good line on it and do a little research and you'll find out if you need to pick up a few lures or just get some live bait or whatever.